Bloomford then Celtic give the three-year-old new two-year deal. Paris to ditch Richard Ofori. Chalolile to leave Sundowns. Amako Sifan Ferrari is confirmed to be leaving. And a quick roundup of all confirmed transfers and news involving Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates players. Welcome back to Afro Football. We have PSL, transfer, and news videos every Monday and Friday. So remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon not to miss out on the latest news. Let's get started. Blomford and Celtic have handed Ndumiso Mabena a new two-year deal. This will see the team's captain 1035 at the end of his contract. The talisman has been held as a core member of the team and was vital for the Celtics when they reached the Net Bank and MTN 8 Cup semi-finals last year. It should be noted that the club has really been impressed by the skipper that this is his second contract extension in the space of two years. The previous 2019 contract was improved to a three-year deal which was issued to secure his loyalty. We must mention that Celtic has been on high player protection alert in regards to the players as they are seven two-year ban handed by FIFA after they were found guilty of unfairly dismissing their former captain, Patrick Tiniembe. So losing any player could be fatal, hence the contract extension for their best players. Moving on to the Buccaneers. Rumor has it that Pirates is en route to making changes to their goalkeeping department. With Wayne Sandilan set to retire and joining the coaching staff, the owners will solely fall on Richard Ofori. But sources state that Pirates are set to sideline Ofori if they land their top goalkeeping target, Ronwen Williams. These reforms come after Neminen, the former goalkeeping coach, left his post paving way for Sandilands to fill the position. Sources state that Sandilands will be given an Indian goalkeeper coaching spot. He'll still be a keeper for the squad in the upcoming season, but he'll be a third choice backup type of keeper. Currently, Chiefs has three keepers, Ofori, Boshane, and Sandilands, but of the three, it appears only Sandilands will stay past this season. This news affects Ofori the most, as he has been the first choice, but a couple of erratic displays has seen him being labeled unreliable by most Pirates hopefuls. Do you think Williams is needed? Or should Paris have a little more faith in Ofori? Let us know in the comments below. But at the time of this video, it should be noted that Paris has made no formal inquiry into Super Sport United man Williams, and that Williams has been on the radar of several MLS teams in the United States of America. Moving on to Sundowns. Sources have reported that El Ali are interested in Peter Shalulile. The Namibian man has been instrumental for Sundowns this season with 13 goals, 8 in the PSL, 2 in the Nidbank Cup, and three in the CAF Champions League. Chalulila has been highly influential in this year's campaign, and that is the reason why the Egyptian Giants have him on their radar. Rumors are that a bid will be made for him as soon as the transfer window opens up. Is this the best move for the Brave Warriors man? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're enjoying this content, remember to like this video and subscribe to Africa Football because it helps us a great turn. And now, some news from Amakosi. Kickoff have reported that Kune, Zulu, and Dumisani Zuma will not be returning to the Naturella next season. These three have for a long time been earmarked as players likely to leave Kaiser Chiefs. Rumor has it that Kune and Zuma have attracted interest from abroad and others likely to join them on the exit list are Bernard Parker and Manyama. Most have noted that Bernard Parker has played out his best days at Amakosi and the team can no longer afford to carry a striker that neither scores nor assists. But nothing should be taken away by the Bafana Bafana state highest goal scorer, hence interest from abroad. Other players that are rumored to be on the chopping block include Katsande, Moleko, and Kambole. These have been put on a provisional transfer list whose solidification will be based on their performances in the remainder of the season. With the club having already released Sangase, it seems Chiefs is ready to clean house and get some fresh talent in. Do you think these players live in the right players, Makosi fans? Let us know in the comments below. And now for some confirmed transfers. Fans will have confirmed the signing of former Orlando Pirates and fan favorite winger Tao Hualinge. He has been clubless since 2020 when he was released by Supersport United. Former Bafana Bafana keeper Jackson Mabokwane has extended his Blue for Tank Celtic contract. This is after an impressive campaign which has seen him rotate with Sipo Chaine frequently and to great success. Chipper United have confirmed the signing of former Orlando Pirates captain Manisa. Manisa was on the roster of TTM in November last year but did not play a single competitive game for the side. We saw TTM part ways with the midfielder. Former Kaiser Chiefs forward Ryan Moon has joined Swedish side Varbergs Balls FC. He leaves Stellenbosch FC for this opportunity abroad. He signed his contract that will hopefully keep him with the Swedish side till 2024. His signing was followed by the club announcing the signing of fellow South African Dean Solomon. This has been Africa Football. Remember to like and subscribe and help us get to 3,000 subscribers. We drop such PSL videos every Monday and Friday. See you in the next one.